welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch, and today's episode is episode number 269. And if this is your first time hearing this podcast, please be sure to subscribe wherever it is you're listening. This way, you get new episodes every time they come out every Wednesday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And now, a tale of honor. On the 12th of September, 1918, Reginald was born in Clareton, Pennsylvania, and he later moved to Pasadena, California. He joined the U.S. Army in March of 1941, and he married Patricia Jean in 1942. Reginald was a captain in command of Company E, 27th Infantry Regiment, 25th Infantry Division, when he deployed to Korea, and it was his actions near Ipsoc that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, Captain Desiderio distinguished himself by conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the repeated risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty. His company was given the mission of defending the command post of a task force against an enemy breakthrough. After personal reconnaissance during darkness and under intense enemy fire, he placed his men in defensive positions to repel an attack. Early in the action, he was wounded but refused evacuation and despite enemy fire, continued to move among his men, checking their positions and making sure that each element was prepared to receive the next attack. Again wounded, he continued to direct his men. By his inspiring leadership, he encouraged them to hold their position. In the subsequent fighting, when the fanatical enemy succeeded in penetrating the position, he personally charged them with carbine, rifle, and grenades, inflicting many casualties until he himself was mortally wounded. His men, spurred on by his intrepid example, repelled this final attack. Captain Desiderio's heroic leadership, courageous and loyal devotion to duty, and his complete disregard for personal safety reflect the highest honor on him and are in keeping with the esteemed traditions of the U.S. Army. The officer that would take over command of Company E was Louis Millett, who was wounded in the same battle and would go on to earn his own Medal of Honor three months later. That is a tale for another time. Reginald was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor on the 2nd of August, 1951. A small park in Pasadena had a plaque for Reginald that was dedicated in 1955, but was in a poor location. The park has gone through many changes over the decades, and the plaque was properly restored and moved in June of 2019, when Desiderio Park was reopened. Reginald Benjamin Desiderio was 32 years old when he died on the 27th of November, 1950, and he, along with his wife Patricia, is buried in the San Francisco National Cemetery, Section O.S., Row 128, Grave 20. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com where you can read these stories, see other ways to support the show, and easily share a story with your friends and family. Tales of Honor Podcast is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme song, A New Beginning, is by Ben Sound. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrosch. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.